All right, so I wasn't going to upload until my wife got back from the phone call. But then Rudy Giuliani came on TV, so I had to fucking mute that. Um, Clinton is still pulling ahead even further, 52 to 45% in Ohio. And she is only two points behind in Texas. Keep an eye on that, because that's... that's Surprising. Um, but one thing I might attribute to that is there is a huge Russian population in Texas. No, wait, wouldn't they be voting for Trump? No, because a Russian that comes here would be one that doesn't like communism, typically. Otherwise, when they came here, they would pretend to be something other than Russian, wouldn't they? Uh, so, like a Ukrainian diaspora, a anti-Putin Russian diaspora would be very much aware of what's going on right now. Oh, they just showed Texas and I missed it. But seriously, it was 47% Clinton. I mean, 47 Trump and 45 Clinton. 49 Trump. And less than 100,000 votes apart. And you know Houston... Shit. 49 Trump, 47 Clinton. Damn. So, how are you doing there? Oh, I'm, I'm good. Uh, Blumenthal has won over Carter in Connecticut Senate race. Oh, let me turn my sound off. <laughs> so, it seems to me like Republicans in Florida have had their buyer's remorse. We're not, I'm not even, like, come on. Sorry. <laughs> have had their buyer's remorse regarding Marco Rubio and decided to elect him for Senate. So, uh, that's interesting. But overall, Florida is going handedly towards Hillary Clinton. Oh, Maryland. Definitely in the Democrat pocket. Van Hollen versus Zaliga? Mm. Okay. New Hampshire, Democrat Senate. We don't know enough about what it is. Or... Oh my god, it's tied. In Florida. Oh yeah. Again, I'm, I have CNN on my phone. We have ABC on the TV. So we're getting two different perspectives here on the race. It's kind of interesting, yeah, too. Yeah, I don't know who off. I distrust less. Right? <laughs> uh, but they're showing the same thing. Yeah, right as I said, Florida was uh, Hillary was pulling ahead in Florida. Trump started pulling back ahead in Florida. Well, the polls closed. Ooh, I smelled dinner. I know, right? It smells so good. The polls have already closed in Florida. So now it's just stuff coming in. But are people in the lines? Yeah, that's that's the, the key question here. Another thing, we've already had record turnouts. So like this percentage of expected vote thing. God, Florida is so neck and neck and it's already 88%. <laughs> Or 83. I'm not wearing my glasses. 80 something percent in Florida, and it is so freaking close. <sighs> yeah, 68 to 66. Mm -hmm. They're showing. Oh, uh, fuck. CNN man. is still showing it 68 to 48. Trump is 15,000 votes ahead in Florida now. Holy crap. Over, uh, overall, Trump has half a million votes more at the moment. For overall. Wow. I I'm about to bust open a bottle of wine. <laughs> so, yeah. Watching the election results with us, you know, because fuck it, why not? Mm -hmm. And, um, 
we're gonna wait till we actually know something because uh we're back on local tv now i might uh show y'all some of what's going on locally if you're interested um but thanks for watching and stay tuned for further updates and pray for america and if you haven't casted your vote yet and your polls have not closed go vote don't let this wolf in, wolf in sheep's clothing we're, we're calling out just ruin ruin us just ruin us ruin our alliances ruin our trade ruin our exports ruin it you have a fantasy in your head if you think he's the right person oh my god Not interfering. It's all up to y'all. Please. Wow. I'm going to tell you what. Don't be morons. If you okay? don't go vote, you don't have a right to complain about, about the outcome of this at all. Period. Bottom line. If you do not go out and cast a vote for your voice, you don't get to complain. And the sad thing is, if you haven't been talking about how Russia's, you know, like, trying to slowly encroach upon Europe and many other places. You don't have much to bitch about either. At least we did our part. <laughs>